Good evening, I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. We're here in the San Bernardino area up in the hills and Yucaipa. Uh, this town has been known to have been hit by mudslides because of the burn scars above us. Up in the mountains right now, there's a big burn scar from a fire three years ago, and that's why they put out these evacuation warnings. It's not like a mandatory evacuation with a hurricane. It's all certainly up to the resident. But last year, we had those evacuations uh, with the uh, Anna uh, situation, and uh, that was a problem because we have mudslides, houses destroyed, and one fatality. So we're hoping it doesn't get that bad. Folks in those areas have come down the mountainside and gotten to safer ground. But you can see what we're dealing with right here with a heavy rain. You can see the water just coming down from the mountainside down the road and heads down the hillside. And we're about four miles north of I-10 uh, here in this town of uh, era, this town again against the edge of the San Bernardino Mountains. I want to show you the radar right now. Show you what's coming in, and it's all coming up from Mexico. Still a big sl uh, slug of moisture down there. It's all wrapping in around the center of Tropical Storm Hillary. Uh, it's located just to the southwest of Palm Springs as of about an hour ago, and the rain is feeding up. Uh, the concern are the mountainsides, not only here in San Bernardino County, but also in L.A. County, where there's a flash flood warning until 745. Those areas uh, below the San Gabriels, also below the Malibu Hills, the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway, all those roads are susceptible, especially the roads that go up through the mountains like Topanga, Topanga Canyon Drive, uh, Los Flores Canyon Drive, those areas, all susceptible mudslides and rock slides. This rainfall is going to be around for about another three to four hours. Then it's going to shut down pretty quickly, and then we'll be out of the woods. Uh, the question, Mike Bettis, is what kind of impacts do we end up with? Do we get the mudslides and the rock slides like we've seen up in the hills recently? Or the rock slide, let me show you this one on I-8. This is out in Imperial County, just north of the Mexican border, well, well east of San Diego. What the police are doing right now is their uh, intervals on the traffic, 15 minutes in one direction, 15 minutes in the other direction. So that's what they're dealing with that. We've also had Highway 150 up in Ventura County near Ojai. That's uh, been uh, shut down because of rock slides and mudslides. By the way, Ojai earlier today had a 5.1 earthquake. We felt it out here uh, earlier this afternoon. So Mike Bettis, uh, quite a day. We're really getting into the heavy rain now, and you can see all the water running down here. You can imagine what it's like up uh, where we were earlier uh, in the Oakland area, in that area, which is up above 4,500, almost to 5,000 feet, where they had a really bad mudslide last year, and they're already protected. Everybody pretty much has left town and getting to a safe area down here in the foothills. Yeah, we are in the thick of it, no doubt about that. That's our Mike Seidel in Yucaipa, California. And Mike Seidel back in Yucaipa, out east of Los Angeles. Uh, there's so much more going on here than just water because we have mudslides and rock slides and debris flows and all kinds of problems related to flash flooding, Mike. Yeah, and this is not what we deal with back east or in the Midwest. We deal with flash flooding, and we deal with flash flooding. And we, we have streets underwater. Uh, we have houses get flooded. But we don't have the mountains where we get the debris flows, uh, the rock slides, the mudslides. And that's a particular concern of the Pacific Coast Highway, anywhere from where the uh, uh, 10 dumps on to the PCH, up through Malibu, up towards Point Doom, and then all the way up to Santa Barbara. We've got the flood watches uh, in many of these areas through at least tomorrow morning. Some of those go past lunchtime on Monday. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what we end up with on the PCH. Also, I mentioned out in Ventura County, uh, Dr. Nab mentioned uh, out on the 101 as you leave L.A. County and cross into Thousand Oaks into Ventura County and then out towards Ojai, uh, that 150, right? That's right south of the Angeles National Forest. Again, another area of a lot, a lot of um, uh, hillsides and mountainsides. So that's where the stuff is, the stuff, the debris is coming down the hillsides. And here in San Bernardino and Riverside counties, we're under a flash flood warning at least until 845. I wouldn't be surprised if that will be extended. The rain has slackened off a little bit as well as the flow here down the road. Basically, uh, the main drag here goes all the way up to the foot of the mountains. I mean, the elevation gets higher and higher, and then you can go up to Oak Glen and those areas, up to the Falls area where they had a big mudslide last September. So we're hoping for the best and uh, hoping that uh, the rainfall uh, comes in spurts and we can let the water... Yeah, people like that that uh, should be uh, driving like that on these kind of roads. We're just hoping that the rainfall comes in spurts because when you get one to two inches an hour in this part of the country, Dr. Nab, it causes a lot more problems than just water on roadways as we've just talked about. Yeah, Mike, and... Uh... 
so many ways that people are getting themselves into trouble, and most of it is out on the roadways. Uh, Mike Bettis is here, uh, going to get us up to date on what's going on. Good evening. This is meteorologist Mike Seidel in Southern California. Just like last year, the first time I covered a tropical system was in San Diego. Right now we're in San Bernardino County, just above the hills in Yucaipa, a town right here at the foothills of the mountains. They go up to 11,500 feet. So these are big mountains, a lot of elevation, a lot of gravity, and you can see what's going on. And we haven't had that much rain, but it's all coming right down the uh, boulevard from the foothills. And I can see it going down, probably ending up down around I-10, uh, several miles away. This is our concern. Uh, heavy rainfall runoff in areas that are flood prone. Also, uh, above here, we have a burn scar from a fire from almost three years ago. So several communities, including Oak Glen and the Falls area, uh, are under a uh, evacuation order. It's not mandatory per se, it's voluntary, but areas up there around Oak Glen, we were up there today and the town is basically uh, deserted. So the rain continues and we've got the flash flood warning here in Riverside. Uh, in San Bernardino counties until uh, 7, 8.45 uh, this evening. Meanwhile, we've had a lot of rain out in the desert. Let's check in with Jen Carfagno. She's been reporting today from Palm Springs. Speaking of schools, the Los Angeles Unified School District, they've canceled school for tomorrow. Classes canceled tomorrow. By the way, speaking of Palm Springs, so far, they've had 2.51 inches of rain this afternoon. 2.51 inches. They are total in a typical year, a little over four. So they've had more than half their entire rainfall. And that's why we end up with the flash flooding. You can see the water going down the road here. Uh, Dr. Nab coming out of the mountains. And we really haven't had a whole lot of rain, but uh, a lot more to come for the next four or five hours, and we'll hope for the best up on those hillsides that have been troubled by mudslides, especially here, and also some burn scars over in Orange County uh, they're concerned with, where these uh, hillsides have been kind of denuded, and the rain can just rush down and cause mudslides and those debris flows into residences. Dr. Nab? Yeah, Mike, and you're way uh, east of Los Angeles, but also west of L.A., we've got some problems. So this is a widespread problem of flooding that this large tropical storm that is centered over California is producing. So let's take a look at Back here live in Yucaipa, California. We're here in San Bernardino County. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. And what we're covering is what's left of what was a hurricane, now tropical storm Hillary, and likely in the next, uh, maybe by 11 o'clock Eastern, it'll be downgraded to a depression. It's uh, now moving very quickly, about 20 to 25 miles an hour past Palm Springs. So the center is somewhere near here, but it's, it's not like we're gonna see the eye because it's a very fast weakening tropical system. Fortunately, it did weaken, so that cuts down on the wind speeds, although some of the mountaintops have had wind speeds over 70 miles an hour. Down where most people live, the peak wind gusts have been generally about 50 miles an hour. We've had some power outages, but nothing widespread at this point. This is what we've seen, uh, water running down the streets from the mountainsides. Mike Bettis, the San Bernardino's up there, up to 11,500 feet, so gravity takes over. And in some of those hillsides uh, tonight, and we've already seen in some of the areas in, in the Southland, we've had had mudslides and debris flows, and even a rock slide on I-8, and that's way out in the desert uh, off to the east of San Diego. Out there, they're doing uh, interval traffic. Every 15 minutes, they're letting cars go by in each direction, east and west. Mike? All right, Mike Seidel, Force from Yucaipa. Mike, thank you very much for that. Well, let's get you caught up on what we know right now. Good evening. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of Hillary, a tropical storm moving through Southern California very quickly. And we've got an update. The Weather Service in Los Angeles and Oxnard just uh, put this out on Twitter or X. Dangerous flooding in the area between Point Doom, Point Magoo, Camarillo, Westlake Village, and also Spanish Hills. Now, this is the western part of Malibu. You can see the radar. What we've got there, again, it's the mountains, the Santa Monica Mountains. Point Doom is on that point. If you're familiar with coming down the PCH, going into to Ventura County, you go past Point Doom and then past a couple state parks. There's the Mulholland Highway that goes through the mountains up towards uh, the 101, not Mulholland Drive, but Mulholland Highway, and then all the way up to Westlake and then back towards Point Magoo. That whole area there in the uh, western part of Malibu and western parts of L.A. County, what they're saying here is very dangerous flooding ongoing right now. There's a flash flood warning that goes until 745. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if that gets extended. Let's go back to Atlanta, get more analysis. Dr. Rittenab and uh, Mike Bettis in the studio this evening. All right, Mike, thank you very much.
Dangerous flash flooding continues across the Southland. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel out here in San Bernardino County. We'll get the latest from Dr. Nab and Mike Bettis on what's happening now and when this is all going to move out from Hillary. So, Mike, this is going to be uh, a big problem out west of Los Angeles, in downtown Los Angeles, and out east of L.A., uh, where you are. So the large part of Southern California feeling the effects of this large tropical storm. Yeah, I just want to add to one thing to you, uh, what you said about these uh, issues. Out in uh, Spanish Hills, that's also in Ventura County, getting a report now from the fire department conducting swift water rescues. Cars are stuck in flooded roads. Again, western Ventura County, uh, you talk about the areas, or I should say more of an eastern part of the Ventura County, western L.A. County, uh, from the Malibu Hills, the Santa Monica Mountains. And again, those hillsides, the water's running down the hillsides, and from the Pacific Coast Highway up to the 101 Freeway, that whole area is just getting clobbered right now. And the best thing to do if you're uh, in Los Angeles thinking about heading uh, out the 101 from uh, the valley is just to sit tight and stay home because that is the worst of the rainfall right now. Here in Riverside and San Bernardino counties, we're under a flash flood warning till 745. Likewise, where I just mentioned, no doubt that'll be extended. We had water rushing down the road here and Yucaipa, Yucaipa Boulevard earlier, that has backed off because the rain has backed off. The real concern is up on the hillside that burn scar from the fire, the El Dorado uh, Angel fire from about three years ago. Those towns up there had mudslides and a fatality last year with the remnants of K. You can see on the radar again, more rain coming in from the south out of Mexico. Uh, we're going to have some pretty good rain in the area for another four or five hours, uh, but everything should move out for the most part by sunrise tomorrow morning across Southern California. And the forecast here for tomorrow is uh, afternoon sunshine and temperatures in the mid so we get back to the California sunshine. And one thing I can tell you that's different about today than most days in the summertime, uh, Dr. Nab out here, is the temperatures. Palm Springs has only gotten up to 79 degrees. Their average high is over 100. Just a couple of days ago, they were 110 plus. So to get a day like this in the summer in the desert or even out here in the Inland Empire is highly unusual. It never rains. It hardly ever rains in August. And it has today quite a bit and a lot more to come. Yeah, and Mike said, when I lived in uh, Central California back in the day, uh, we counted on the summer to be dry every day. But sometimes the tropics throw us a little bit of a curveball, and uh, it's happened before, and here we are again with a significant tropical system coming into California. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of Hillary. It's a tropical storm, but it's weakening. We expect it to be a tropical depression sometime later on tonight. Meanwhile, we want to take you back to Los Angeles. We're out here in San Bernardino, well east, out in the Inland Empire. But we've got a huge problem on our hands right now in the western part of the county and eastern parts of Ventura County. This area is being pummeled. Uh, you can see the rain is just sitting there, kind of spinning in from the north and west, uh, from the north and east, rather. So what's going on is just raining and raining. Some of the rainfall totals are up to two inches in two hours. That is a lot of rainfall in this part of the world. So anywhere between Point Doom and Point Magoo on the Pacific Coast Highway and then just translate that north uh, to the Hollywood Freeway or the 101 uh, between Thousand Oaks and all the way out towards the Ojai area. Uh, that area is basically uh, getting uh, socked with rainfall rates of one to two inches an hour. Uh, cars have been uh, submerged. They're doing water rescues out there in the uh, areas around Camarillo. So again, that is the worst of the flooding in the current situation in Southern California. Meanwhile, we've had a lot of rain in Palm Springs today. In fact, they've had over half their annual total, now sitting at 2.6 inches. And the Weather Channel's Jen Carfagno was part of that this afternoon. And another big difference today in Palm Springs for August. Typically, it should be above 100 degrees. A couple days ago, it was 110. Today's high so far, 79. 79. The only way you can do that in the desert in August is to have this. Clouds and rain. We've got that out here in San Bernardino, Riverside counties. Flash flood warning goes through 830. We'll see if they extend it. Uh, the big concern here is up in the hillside. Some of these uh, towns that got a uh, hard hit last year from Kay with a mudslide. One fatality, Dr. Nab. Uh, hopefully, things will be better this time around, but those are dangerous. 
dangerous areas. We were up in Oakland earlier today, Dr. Nab, and just about everybody had left town. Everything was closed uh, for the day. So that's the, the right move. Down here, we're a little bit more fortunate because we're farther away from mountainside. Yeah, Mike, thanks so much. And you know, there are a lot of places that are still at great risk. Welcome back. We're looking at Big Bear. Remember back in the winter when they were snowed in for two to three weeks? Well, now it's rain up there. It is chilly. It's 58 at that elevation, but they've had some road closures uh, in some of the mountain areas up there. Uh, anywhere from two to three inches of rain, and winds have gusted up there 50 miles an hour. So it's, uh, it's a rainy night, not a snowy night, but a lot of the folks up there are not used to even this kind of rainfall, even at that elevation. And by the way, at the lower elevation, down around 6,000 feet, we've got uh, Forest Falls. And Dr. Nab mentioned just a couple of minutes ago a couple of road closures there. That's one of the communities that have the evacuation warning. It's not a mandatory evacuation. It's up to you. But that's what they issue around here. It's not like a hurricane mandatory evacuation. Uh, but those are the towns up there by the burn scar where they're certainly susceptible. We were up at Oak Glen today, and I could still see uh, some of the kind of the remnants of what happened last September with the uh, K, which was off uh, the coast. Back here, we've got that flash flood warning in Victorville and San Bernardino in this area, and that has been extended now until I believe it was 1030, uh, 1130 tonight Pacific time, I believe is what I saw uh, Mike Bettis. Anyway, they have extended it, and I think many of those flash flood warnings in LA and Ventura County are going to be extended too, because it is really nasty and life-threatening over there in that part of uh, the Southland. Yeah, really dangerous stuff. There's no doubt about that. Mike Seidel for us in Yukaipa. Mike, thank you very much. Flash flood warnings cover much of Southern California. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel here in San Bernardino County, and we're keeping an eye on the dangerous situation, especially now west of downtown Los Angeles. We'll get the update in moments from Dr. Rick Nabb and Mike Bettis. So, Mike Seidel, uh, you're out east of downtown Los Angeles, and you know, having been out there for uh, many occasions, including last year for Kay and this year, uh, how much terrain plays a role in locally what you're experiencing? Oh, exactly. It's all about elevation and gravity. And uh, the problem here, uh, just uh, up in the hills, in the mountains above me, in the San Bernardino Mountains, is we've got these towns, not huge towns, but they were hit last year with K, and that was a storm off the coast. And now we've already had a report from Forest Falls, as you mentioned, Dr. Nab, of roads being closed by mudslides. And we're not surprised about that situation. Now, Forest Falls is up about 6,000 feet, right here at about 2,600 feet. So it's way up there. Uh, in fact, uh, even here back in December, they had snowfall. So it goes to show you what uh, elevation makes a difference. But up there, again, all the running water, they've had over four inches of rain up there. Here in uh, Yukaipa, we've already had over an inch and a half. Some areas in town have had as high as almost two inches of rain. So it's slowly adding up. We don't have water rushing down uh, Yukaipa Boulevard like we did a couple of hours ago because we haven't had the sustained heavy rain. But we've got several more hours to go at least. In fact, the Weather Service out of San Diego has extended the flash flood warning in Riverside and here in San Bernardino counties until 1130 tonight. So that's uh, uh, more than three hours away. So we've got a while to go. But by, by sunrise tomorrow morning, the rain will be out of here, maybe a shower early on. But then that's it. The sun will be out across the Southland and temperatures will be back in the mid 80s. And speaking of temperatures, uh, today, just uh, an unbelievably chilly day out in the desert areas and even here in the Inland Empire. Our highs stayed below 80 degrees in many areas uh, and that's more than 20 or 25 degrees below average. Palm Springs now uh, over two and a half inches of rain and they're high today. Last time I checked was only 79. Just a couple days ago they were 110 plus. So Dr. Knapp, really clouds and rain. It's the only way you get a chilly day or a cooler day in this part of the country in August. And you mentioned rainfall records. Uh, many areas setting rainfall records because the records for August 20th are zero or trace or 0.01. In fact, Lancaster, California has never had rainfall in this state. Never. That's how unusual it is for it to rain uh, at, at all, let alone this much this time of the year. It takes a tropical system or maybe uh, some monsoon thunderstorm that sneaks in from the east. Dr. Dab? Yeah, it's not every year that we get a significant tropical system in California and other parts of the West, but when it does happen, 
We pretty much never forget it. Thank you so much, Mike Seidel. Flash flood warnings continue here in San Bernardino County. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. As we head through a Sunday night, it's been raining all day uh, since this afternoon across the deserts, uh, the high desert, and in through uh, the Southland. The worst weather has been recently in those areas west of downtown LA, those uh, Santa Monica mountain areas. If you're familiar with the Pacific Coast Highway uh, from Point Magoo, that's that little bend at the coast, and then you head out towards uh, into Ventura County. That whole area area there out towards uh, the Point Magoo area and then you come back towards Thousand Oaks that that kind of rectangular area we've got mountainsides we've got gravity and the rain comes down and we've had totals out there now uh, two to three inches in the past uh, three hours that's a lot of rain in this part of the world and a lot of rain anywhere when you have steep grades because it just comes down the hill and in this case it'll bring mud and debris and rocks and boulders and we've had those issues on some of the roadways uh, the 150 uh, going out of, I think that's Ojai, that goes up into the uh, Los Padres National Forest again, elevation. That road has had issues. We've had water rescues out there near uh, Camarillo, so a real mess out there. Uh, needless to say, across a lot of areas, there's still a lot of rain to come, and it's all running downhill. Uh, Mount San Jacinto has the highest rainfall. Again, this is a high mountaintop here in Southern California, and they've had over eight inches of rain. Rainfall totals here and uh, Ukaipa are right around two inches. So we're not doing too bad so far. Uh, at least we're not getting the continuous heavy rain. Earlier we had water rushing down Ukaipa Boulevard. That has backed off. It is raining a little bit harder right now. But we've got that flush flood warning going until 1130. Meanwhile, let's head over to Palm Springs where meteorologist Jen Carfagno witnessed some very heavy rain today. They're now over 2.6 inches and counting. And back here in San Bernardino County, as the rain and wind continues to uh, roll through these uh, hilly, er these hilly areas, again it's up above us, four to five thousand to six thousand feet, where we've had some mud issues up there in Forest Falls, and that's the area that was hit hard last year with Kay. And Dr. Nab, uh, the fact of the matter is, the first tropical storm coverage we did on the Weather Channel last year was with Kay in San Diego. This year, it's with Hillary. And I don't think I had that on my dance card. I mean, to, to start off both seasons on the West Coast, well, what are the, the odds are very, very uh, low. Very, yeah. very low. Yeah. And then we and, had an earthquake this, today in Ojai. Oh, I know. We had an Just earthquake today. Amazing, everything that's happening. Um, and, and this is very different than last year in, in the sense that the storm has come bodily into Southern California. More rainfall for more right. folks. And that's why we've got this high risk. So. We're back here in San Bernardino County. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. And we just got an update. A couple Weather Channel uh, fans stopped by. They were up at Forest Falls, up about 6,000 feet, because they're weather geeks. And they said Valley of the Falls Road is, is, you know, covered, washed out by mud. And also the Santa Ana River is roaring up there. Now, that river comes out of the mountains. And remember, the highest peak here is about 11,500 feet. Comes down through here, through San Bernardino County. It ends up in Orange. County and the water eventually ends up in the Pacific. The river runs about 100 miles long and it does take a lot of the water that way. We also have a lot of uh, concrete, um, uh, I say concrete canals and drainage basins. And if you remember the scene, Mike Bettis from The Terminator with Alex uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger riding his motorcycle uh, through the LA River where it was dry. So we have a lot of these drainage structures that do the best they can, but when you you have extreme rainfall rates like we've seen, and we're dealing with mountainsides and hillsides like here, and the Malibu Hills and the Santa Monica Mountains down in LA and Ventura counties. You just can't take care of all the rain that's coming down, and you get the runoff, the mudslides, and the debris flows. So that's what we're seeing tonight, just uh, maybe 10 miles up the road here above us. All right, Mike Seidel, thank you. I do appreciate the Terminator reference. That's good stuff there, Mike. But we all remember that, right?
And here's a spot where it doesn't rain very much, but it did again today, much like last year. Remember that terrible flood out in Death Valley National Park? Well, they had more rain today and more road closures. Uh, don't know if it was as bad as last year where it damaged the park and some areas were closed for several months. We'll have to find out tomorrow. But again, areas that hardly ever get rain or never get rain in the summertime got an inch or two inches of rain today, uh, including Palm Springs now. They're getting uh, up close to three inches of rain. Meanwhile, back here in San Bernardino County, we're getting the water coming down uh, the hillsides again from the mountains up in Forest Falls. They've had mudslides. That's below that burn scar from the El Dorado fire from about three years ago. It'll be three years in November. And otherwise, uh, a little bit of water running down the hill here, uh, right here uh, in the area, Ukaipa uh, Boulevard uh, here in uh, the in the areas uh, well east of Los Angeles and what they call the Inland Empire. Flash flood warning here in San Bernardino. Riverside County is extended until 1130. This is all going to be out of the way before rush hour tomorrow morning. And in fact, uh, tomorrow by lunchtime and beyond, it's going to be another stunning day. In fact, uh, mid 80s, not hard to take this time of the year. Temperatures typically are up in the mid, even the upper 90s out here where we are. Let's uh, go uh, dive back to uh, Mike Bettis. Uh, Mike, that's one thing about the clouds and the rain. You get the coldest weather on record <laughs> in August. I mean, yeah. when it doesn't hit 80 in the desert in the yeah. summertime, there's something going on. And it's either clouds and rain or there's been something going on strange in the atmosphere but today it was just clouds and rain something something's going on no doubt about that mike uh, mike thank you so much Good evening once again from the Inland Empire I'm meteorologist Mark Seidel east of Los Angeles and again there are again Jen, hang on. Jen will be with us in a moment. There are numerous flash flood warnings across all of Southern California. We've had mudslides, debris flows, rock slides on I-8, and cars and water rescues over there in Ventura County. Uh, just a real mess tonight from Hillary. We'll get the analysis next. But first, now, let's go to Jen Corfagno. Tropical rain. And our meteorologist, Mike Seidel, live in Yucaipa, California, just east of San Bernardino. Uh, Mike, we've talked all day and night about how terrain is playing such a significant role in terms of what wind you get and what flood-related impacts you receive. And Dr. Nab, the rain is uh, coming down harder now here out in San Bernardino County. We're east of LA. This is what they call the Inland Empire, uh, just uh, off the 10 freeway. We've got the San Bernardino Mountains up there. Uh, we're at about 2,500 feet, but Forest Falls is up at 6,000 feet, and they've had mudslides and road closures. Uh, that's not surprising. That's one of the towns up there, including Oakland, even part of uh, where we are uh, here in the uh, areas of Yucaipa where they had issued this, what they call a mandatory, well, they call it an emergency evacuation warning. It's not mandatory. It's certainly up to you. But some of these areas folks have left. We were up in Oakland earlier today, and uh, that town was pretty much a ghost town. And you could see where they had cleared mud and uh, dealt with the one last year. Meanwhile, we're going to pan over here. We've got a lot of light. You can see the wind blowing the rainfall across the street here. This is uh, Yucaipa Boulevard, and all the water is running down. Downhill. It's running down the hill all the way, probably ending up on I-10, but you can sense the uh, rain and the wind over there through those lights. Over here, we've got uh, just several inches of water. Nothing like we had earlier. We'll show you what we uh, shot earlier this afternoon here in uh, San Bernardino County. Take a look at the rushing water down the roads. Again, this is the issue. Uh, gravity. Many places back east, we get flash flooding, but we don't have the elevation change. Many spots, it's fairly level. We've got some hills, of course, like we saw in West Virginia or Kentucky last year. But when you're talking about uh, peak elevation here, 11,500 feet coming down to where we are at uh, 2,500 feet over about you know, 10, 12 miles as a crow flies, that's a steep drop, and the water comes down the hillsides. And you know they have the Santa Ana River, they have the 
the concrete, the drainage basins, culverts, but it can't funnel all the water out of the area. And so that's when we get uh, the overwash and we get the mudslides and the debris flows like we've seen out uh, in the Malibu Hills, also the Santa Monica Mountains. As you go west of Point Doom along the Pacific Coast Highway, there's that one road I've been up on, Mulholland Highway, not Mulholland Drive, uh, and that has got to be uh, dealing with mud right now. We've seen some of the roads, too, uh, south of the Los Padres National Forest above Ojai. I think that's the 150. I think that was closed and probably is still closed because out there I've seen some of the mountains uh, getting upwards of four to four and a half inches of rain. Here we've had two and a quarter, but it's adding up now, and you can tell it's raining harder because of the amount of water flowing uh, down the street. So uh, Dr. Nab will continue with this for at least the next three or four hours. Then it will come to an end and then the sun will come back out tomorrow with temperatures in the mid 80s and we'll get to find out you know how bad it was up above us out in death valley and especially the areas we've been watching over the past couple of hours you've been doing a great job giving us the details of what's going on out there in areas west of downtown la malibu and out towards the uh, areas in uh, eastern ventura county yeah thank you so much mike seidel um, i really am concerned about what the nighttime could bring You're looking at video from just a few minutes ago from Ventura County. The fire department out there trying to rescue folks using helicopters at night. This is along the Santa Clara River. Now, the Santa Clara River runs uh, north of Thousand Oaks and Moor Park and then runs down towards the Pacific. So we're not exactly sure where this is in that part of Ventura County, but it is the eastern part of Ventura County. You know, the 101 goes out through Thousand Oaks from uh, the valley. And then uh, you're out there in those hills. And again, that's the issue tonight. It's been mainly these areas near mountains and hills where you have the gravity and the water coming down the hillsides. And we've had totals out there of four to five inches of rain. That is a lot of rain uh, for any time of the year, and especially in August. Now, that doesn't affect the flooding issues per se, but uh, it just doesn't often rain this much in this short of time. And you always have some kind of issues. Not only there, but here, uh, we're in the valley. Well, not in the valley we're in the really the foothills above San Bernardino and that valley area uh, near the foot of the mountains that go up to 11,500 feet so that water is rushing down the hillsides and up there at the uh, um, Forest Falls, that's the town, Forest Falls. They've had mudslides and road closures. Not surprising, they're at 6,000 feet. Here in these areas, uh, we've had upwards of two to two and a half inches of rain. We're still getting some water running down the street here. We saw that ear, uh, earlier here on Ukaipa Boulevard, and that is gonna continue as long as the rain continues to fall. Meanwhile, a lot of rain today out in the desert areas, including Palm Springs, and that's where our very own Jen Corfagno was reporting from earlier this afternoon. And Jen, we can tell you that the LA United School District, they have thrown in the towel tomorrow. Yep, no schools in uh, Los Angeles tomorrow for the Unified School District. Meanwhile, back here in San Bernardino County, the rain's still coming down, still running down the street here. Uh, we've had wind gusts 35 to 40 miles an hour. The highest gust we've seen has been 84 miles an hour uh, on a mountaintop in San Diego County. The name escapes me right now, but again, any winds above 50, 55 miles an hour have been pretty much relegated uh, to mountaintops where few, if any, people uh, live. Flash flood warning till at least 12.30 in the morning, Dr. Nab, as the rain continues out here. Palm Springs, by the way, now up to 2.66 inches of rain. That's more than half their annual total, and a lot of that fell in about two hours this afternoon. High temperature, get this, 79 degrees. That's uh, almost unheard of in the summertime in the desert. This is what it takes, a tropical storm, to keep that temperature down with no sunshine at all. Yeah, so in order to get a cool day, we have to inherit the dangers of the flooding, and those dangers are going to last all mm -hmm. night long. 
Welcome back. We're out here in the Inland Empire, well east of downtown L.A., but the entire Southland has been dealing with flash flooding, serious flash flooding ongoing in parts of L.A. and Ventura counties. We've got the helicopters up near the Santa Clara River out there in the, the Ventura County area, the eastern part of the county, as you leave Thousand Oaks and head in that direction above Moore Park. Uh, they're out there searching for folks. There have been water rescues out there by the fire department, all because of Hillary, which is moving very quickly north, nearly 30 miles an hour. Uh, that is going to be uh, certainly a positive because slow-moving tropical systems can dump a lot more rain. So even though it's dumping a lot of rain, we've had some mountaintops with over eight inches and even parts of L.A. County with five inches up in the uh, hills there above Malibu. Uh, we're not going to get uh, the amounts we would get if this thing was, say, moving at five or ten miles an hour. That would be really uh, catastrophic, not only here, but anywhere. We've seen depressions, you know, that slow down and you can get 30, 40 inches of rain. So so with that said, we do have uh, issues out in Palm Springs today. We had flash flooding. We've got some uh, video to show you from Palm Springs. They've had two and two-thirds inches of rain. That's a lot of rain, considering they have about four and a half for the entire year. And you can see what it leads to, uh, the flash flooding roadways. They had warnings up most of the afternoon into early this evening. Oh, the rain has backed off there for now. Uh, the past hour or so, they've had less than a quarter of an inch of rain. So that's good news. That gives a chance for the flash flood waters to recede. That's the advantage. If you get an inch of rain and then it stops for an hour or so, it gives the, the drainage system a chance uh, to catch up. But a long way to go, overnight hours, flash flood warnings now until 3 a.m. out in those areas of Alley and Ventura County, here in San Bernardino County, in the what they say the historic town of Yucaipa. Uh, we have a flash flood warning until 12.30 in the morning. This is all going to race out of here, fortunately, and then tomorrow the sun comes back out. And it will be a relatively mild day uh, for many areas, uh, cooler than average. And then by Wednesday, uh, I should say by Tuesday, Dr. Dad, the temperatures get back uh, to the 90s and the triple digits. But big concern still tonight in those areas west of downtown L.A. where they have been pummeled uh, over the past three to four hours. Yeah, and uh, funny you should use that word because a, a car got pummeled by a falling rock there near Point Magoo. We do want to take you to San Bernardino County. Let's go to the town of Yucaipa with meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, you've been showing us just how bad it's been there, and the rain continues. Yes, it does. It has backed off a little bit for now, but we've got more moving in. Another few hours or so. By sunrise, this will all be out of here, and then we're going to have a nice sunny afternoon tomorrow uh, here across Southern California. In the meantime, we've had uh, some flash flooding mudslides up in the town of Forest Falls. That's one of those towns that was under those uh, evacuation orders. It's, it's, it's an or a warning, I should say, but it doesn't mean you have to go. It's certainly based on what you feel you're comfortable doing. And we just heard of a neighborhood about a mile and a half from here where they're telling people to leave now. So we're going to find out what that's all about. But again, it's all about the water and gravity. Something we don't have a lot of back east are the mountains and hills in many areas where we have flash flooding. And so we don't have the added component. Certainly out here we have big mountains. So, you know, we're talking about the San Bernardino Mountains here, uh, the highest peak, 11,500 feet. So you have a steep grade and the water just comes rushing down and it eats away at the hillsides. We've also got the burn scar up above where we are uh, from that El Dorado fire from almost three years ago. So that kind of denudes the hillsides, doesn't have anything, uh, they don't have anything to hold in the soil or the rocks, and the force of the water, very strong, just pushes that down, and that's what we've seen up in Forest Falls. So the flash flood warning will continue here in Riverside, uh, I should say, in San Bernardino County. They extended it till 1230 in the morning. We'll see if there's a further extension, but with Hillary moving so quickly. Uh, that is a godsend, Dr. Nab, because otherwise we'd be looking at even more rainfall. So the fact that it's moving almost 30 miles an hour does at least cut down on the rainfall totals. Uh, but for Southern California, uh, in some places, they've never had rain on August 20th, going back 70, 80 years. And today they had two inches of rain. It's very unusual to get rainfall here in August, and it takes a tropical system uh, generally speaking, they get this kind of weather and keep the temperatures this chilly in the summertime. Yeah, Mike, if we ever had 
a stalled tropical system over Southern California. I don't even want to think about yeah. what happened. It is a good thing that this it'd is be, moving. It'd be catastrophic. Yeah. Not that this isn't bad in and of itself. Yeah. Mike, thank you very much for the update there.